anticipated cast from the reboot of the highly anticipated show, The Game, Wendy Raquel Robinson, Hosea Sanchez, Adrian Ray, and Vaughn Hebron. The Game has such a huge and loyal fan base. So we ask a few folks um, if they wanted to ask you questions. We have one of them on tape. Let's take a look at it. Hi, I'm Experience Jay in Washington, D.C., and my question is, what can we, the viewers, expect from this new season that's going to keep us intrigued but also give us that nostalgia we're seeking as day one fans of the show? Wow. That's a better question than anything I ask. <laughs> <laughs> Wendy, well, hey, I'll, let you <laughs> I'll let you answer it, Wendy. Well, you know what? I, I think it's grounded this season, and the comedy is still fresh, so we still have a lot of what we had from prior, but it's new. It's from a different lens, and I think that lens is sexy. We're in Vegas, so it's also even sexier with that, wow. and um, I think the optics have really gotten even higher. You know what I mean? The production value is on point. Look at the set. I mean, this it's is one gorgeous. of our regular sets that we have. This is a nightclub in Vegas, so I think it's a lot for the fans. <laughs> the comedy is still there. The drama is there. And I, I think the stakes that. are much higher. Hosea, I, like I, first of all, it's this fresh familiar, but familiar. From, right. Yeah. Like, <laughs> but oh, this, I'm that sorry. is so beautiful. <laughs> I didn't realize you were actually in Vegas, but I thought what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. That, did that go out the window? Did that, people <laughs> Only when it's televised. You can tell that? <laughs> Only <laughs> when it's televised. Okay. Right, right. Uh, and and we have, you, Cameron, we actually on. have a member of our live studio audience. This is the first for this season since we've been under different restrictions. We get to ask somebody in the TAM fam, what's your question? <laughs> Hi, um, my name is Yvette, and the question is for Wendy. During your show, you do a lot of, um, you say a lot of catchphrases. And what I want to know is, actually, the viewers want to know whether or not these are improvised or are they oh. scripted. Like Tasha, pow, pow, pow? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Tim. <laughs> you know what, the pow, 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 I don't own. But I will say, I do love to improvise. Mm -hmm. So that tweak, that twerk, that work, that, that was <laughs> definitely mine. That was an improv. But um, the writers are fantastic. They've been able to really capture Tasha Mack's voice and then kind of mesh it with some of the windy isms mm -hmm. that I like to bring. But uh, I think it's a wonderful hybrid of both. But thank you so much for noticing oh, the catchphrase. Oh, great. <laughs> We have a question sent in from Bridget from Tampa, Florida. Bridget. My name is Bridget and I'm from Tampa, Florida. My question is actually for the new cast members. Did you guys feel any intimidation or pressure coming into such an iconic show? Adrian, what was it? Were you intimidated? I mean, Chicago Fire is a big show, but now you're going into the game where the expectations are high. Were you nervous on your first day? Was it like the first day of school? Uh... Yes. <laughs> I remember I, I had a scene, my, my first scene with Wendy, and afterwards we finished it, and I, I looked at her and I said, Wendy, I did it. <laughs> she said, did what, girl? I said, I did a scene with you. <laughs> I, it was just, uh, you know, I, like Vaughn said, I've been watching them and just, it's Wendy. Yeah, right. Right. yeah. So yeah, it's just a it's a it's an expectation. Like I just don't want to let her down, even because you just you know her greatness. And uh, I came in a little nervous, but they're they're like family and they make you feel at home. So you're gonna make me cry. Please. You know, I know. Oh my god! But trust me, she is holding her own and holding it down. <laughs> so Brittany yeah, Pitts is think, definitely. But I think Vaughn, you might have been under more pressure because Hosea is known for his fashions, and I'm looking at your shoes. I'm looking at you. Well, did you feel <laughs> pressure to compete? Me. Did you feel pressure to step up to Hosea's standard of fashion? You know, it's um. Working with Malik the bars, right? You know, <laughs> exactly. I mean, it's two different characters, so I didn't have to really compete. But between him, um, Pooch, and Kobe, you know, they're just so solid. Yeah. And they're they're so established in who they are. And I'm like, I'm trying to figure out where I stand amongst these titans on nah, the screen. Nah, you got so, it. No, y'all you know, that, that was pretty thing. well, because I, like, I can't stop looking at your shoes. I cannot stop looking at <laughs> your shoes. It's the star. I've never been it's envious star. of a loafer in my life, and now I'm like, oh, 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 oh. Okay, before we let you go, though, you mentioned Pooch. Pooch Hall is returning. Um, Wendy, people yeah. want to know who else is coming back. Brittany Daniels, who plays Kelly Pitts. Uh, Pooch Kobe is coming Bell. back as Derwin. Kobe Bell. 
I, I hear there's some some potential surprise returns. Is that I won't ask you who because I don't want to spill oh. it. But Wendy, are there some surprise returns? Ooh, let's just say black love is real. Thank you so much. You know what? I love how the fans rooted for you and you respect that and you appreciate it. And that's why you're bringing an incredible reboot series. So congratulations. It is so well-deserved. And the fans deserve to see good TV as well.